In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a button to control interaction effects, but also show you how pushing and pulling widgets works. So the interaction scenario we're gonna have here is that when someone clicks on this button, it will hide this image. Um, and when they click on it, it will show it again. That's the first step that we're going to do. So how do we do that? The interaction is going to happen on the button, so we select the button first. We click on New Interaction. We want this interaction to happen on click, so we're going to choose On Click. And then we're going to choose Show and Hide because we want to hide that image. So we choose the widget we want to choose. Now we're not using this widget this time because that's the button itself. We want to choose the button image. And this is where it's really important naming all of your um, widgets so that it's really clear which one you're, uh, you're showing. So I'm going to choose toggle because otherwise we have to add another one, you know, it, it, otherwise it gets really confusing. If we're going to have it show, um, you know, sometimes you want to hide it. So we're going to actually choose toggle, which means if it's showing when you click it, it's going to hide. If it's hidden uh, when you click it, it's going to show the image. So animate show. Uh, let's slide it this time. So to show it, we're going to slide it down. Um, and to hide it, we're going to slide it up. Okay, so we're toggling the visibility. We're showing it by sliding it down, hiding it by showing, sliding it up. So let's preview this. Hide, show, awesome. Isn't that cute? Okay, so the next thing we want to do is that's all well and good. Now we've got a big empty blank space. What we want to do now is we want to move this content up to take its place. And then when we show the image, we want this content to move back down again. So let's go and do this. Again, it's on our hide show image and it's part of the settings for show and hide. So when we show, you see how we have, okay, slide down. Um, we're gonna choose linear here, linear. And now we've got an option, more options. Let's see what's here. So we can bring it to the front, which you might want to do for some content. If you've got, for instance, a pop-up screen saying, hey, sign up to our newsletter. But right now we're just leaving it where it is. You see how we've got push or pull widgets. We want to push and pull it. So we'll scroll down so we can read it. Uh, we want to push and pull it from below, not to the right, because that would be bringing it in from the side. And let's do an animation and we'll see what this then does. So let's preview this. Now we're going to show or hide. And there we go. Isn't that fantastic? So this is what happens when you push or pull content. Basically, it looks at all of the content that is below the uh, widget that you are hiding or showing and it then animates it accordingly to take up the space that the widget was taking up before you hit it. 